All right, what's up, everybody? Brian here, and this is my Monday Night Raw re review for last night's episode of Monday Night Raw. So let's get right into it. I'm not going to get into a full review. I'm just going to give the some of the main points of last night's Raw. Uh, one big point is that we found out uh, two things uh, from General Manager Kurt Angle. Uh, last night, on last night's episode, that one, uh, Jason Jordan had to have neck surgery uh, last week, and that he is going to be out, and he is going to be he's going to miss WrestleMania, which caused the fans to cheer. Uh, we also found out that uh, he also announced that at Elimination Chamber. The event for uh, Raw coming up uh, a week from this Sunday, that Ronda Rousey will be at a, at the at the event to sign her Monday Night Raw contract. So obviously, uh, the new reports of on different sites of Ronda Rousey maybe being a part of WrestleMania. Um, there had been talk of that there's going to be a tag match with Triple H and Stephanie McMahon taking on Ronda Rousey and a, and a, and a tag team partner um, at WrestleMania. So it looks like they're going to start that build of uh, Ronda Rousey being a part of the Monday Night Raw roster, so that so then they can build that that whole feud up going into Mania. Um, so those were two things that we found out <coughs> last night. Uh, we also found out that of uh, who is going to be entering the Elimination Chamber first uh, in a match with John Cena and The Miz. The, the Miz lost on last night's Raw to John Cena. Uh, therefore, he is going to be entering the Elimination Chamber first uh, of It'll be interesting to see who will be the second uh, entry or who's going to be, you know, fighting the Miz for those first few minutes in that elimination chamber. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we do know that Elias, with the victory last week in the triple threat match over John Cena and Braun Strowman, he'll be entering the elimination chamber last. So that's a huge advantage for Elias. Uh, speaking of Elias, he was involved in a very funny segment last night on Raw. Uh, he was in the ring singing the Elimination Chamber Blues, where he was basically insulting the other uh, uh, four combatants that were announced, uh, where uh, you know, he was insulting The Miz, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, um, and then the ring announcer would get on the mic and say, ladies and gentlemen, Braun Strowman. And Braun Strowman would, would appear on the stage in the same setup as Elias, but he would have this big, monstrous bass. Uh, it you know, looked like a, like a cello, not a cello, but like a, uh, you know, like a cello type deal. Uh, and basically... Um, he would start to mock Elias the way he was singing. Uh, he then would go down to the ring. Uh, Elias would attack him, try to hit him with uh, his guitar, but Strowman hit a running power slam. And then when Elias was crawling up the ramp at the top, uh, uh, Strowman would uh, grab his face and literally smash it over the back of Elias. And that was pretty funny. If you guys have not seen that segment, I would recommend checking it out uh, or finding a clip of it. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, we saw, um, and then what else? Uh, so we, I, I talked about Kurt Angle announcing Ronda Rousey was going to sign a Raw contract at Elimination Chamber. Um, talked about Strowman and Elias, talked about Miz uh, uh, being uh, first in the Elimination Chamber. 
in what like a, in what was a pretty decent match with Miz and John Cena. Um, that Elias and Strowman segment was pretty funny. Uh, that brings us to the main event, which was a fatal five-way uh, match to see who would enter, who would be the sixth uh, and the final participant for the Elimination Chamber. And um, it was it was a going to be a fatal four-way involving Apollo Cruz, Matt Hardy, Bray Wyatt, and Finn Balor, who had all had opportunities to qualify for the Elimination Chamber, but lost. But then Seth Rollins was added uh, during that segment with Kurt Angle, and uh, Kurt Angle said, you know what, you want in, I'm going to let the fans decide. The fans said, yes, put him in, so Rollins was uh, added. Uh, this is actually a pretty good main event. Uh, you know, you had five guys in there, all with all wanting that opportunity to to uh, be in the elimination chamber. Uh, a little bit of controversy at the end of this matchup as to who won. Uh, basically, I'm gonna, not going to get into full details, but uh, Bray Wyatt got double power bombed from the top rope from the corner by Rollins and Balor. Rollins and Balor both pinned Bray Wyatt. Referee counted three. So there was a lot of controversy as to who was going to be the sixth man in the chamber. And then uh, apparently afterwards on, on WWE's Facebook page, uh, Roll Rollins and Balor uh, talked to Kurt Angle saying, you know, listen, I won the match, I won the match. Kurt Angle made it, very cl made it clear that at Elimination Chamber, there's going to be seven men in the chamber match, uh, the men's elimination chamber match, um, for to see who is going to go on to WrestleMania to challenge Brock Lesnar for the Universal Title. Um, so that is going that is huge news coming out of last night's um, or after last night's Raw that there will be seven men in the elimination chamber for that men's uh, chamber match. So it's going to be Braun Strowman, Elias, who we know is going to be entering last, uh, The Miz, who will be entering first, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Finn Balor, and Seth Rollins, all competing at, at the event for a shot at the Universal Championship at WrestleMania. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna come on here like I always do and say about you know we already know who's gonna be planned to go to go over in this one, but we all we all know that Roman Reigns is is probably gonna go over. So it's you know, um, so pretty much um, there was some other action. Uh, the women the uh, women had matches last night. Uh, Sasha and Bailey they competed against each other. Uh, Bailey won with a belly, Bailey to belly. Uh, Absolutions, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville they de they defeated Mickey James and Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss. Of course, those two, those four women, um, and um, we know that at Elimination Chamber it's going to be. Alexa Bliss defending against Mandy Rose, Sasha Banks, Bailey, and uh, Mickey James, and Sonya Deville in a six-woman uh, elimination chamber match, um, and that was pretty much it. I mean, there was some other, like I said, there was some other matches that happened, uh, but pretty much that was just the gist of what I what I took from last night's Raw. Uh, I thought last night's Raw was pretty good. Uh, the last three weeks have been uh, have been really good uh, episodes of Raw. So um, hopefully they can keep it up next week. So with that being said, if you guys watched Raw last night, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Uh, I'm sorry uh, if I was rambling in this video. Um, I had just got done finished watching Raw a few minutes ago because I DVR'd it. So I thought I'd make a, a video giving my thoughts on last night's Raw. I thought it was pretty good, a pretty good episode. 
I thought the segment with Elias and Braun Strowman was funny. I thought that uh, the John, John Cena versus Miz matchup I thought was pretty good. But uh, other than that, I thought last night's episode was, was actually a pretty good episode uh, with a lot of build heading into Elimination Chamber. So with that being said, as I mentioned, if you guys watched Raw last night, let me know what you guys thought of it. Uh, so, this has been my Raw review for last night's episode of Monday Night Raw. I am Brian, and thank you for watching.